Prime Minister Narendra Modi arrived in Australia earlier this morning on the second leg of his three-nation tour, during which he will attend the annual summit of the Group of 20 of the world's developed and emerging economies. Mr. Modi was at Queensland University of Technology in Brisbane to inspect a two-story high digital centerpiece of science and engineering center. In fact, he interacted with many of the students out there. Narendra Modi is the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Australia since Rajiv Gandhi in 1986. He will hold talks with Prime Minister Tony Abbott in Canada and meet British Prime Minister David Cameron today. So these are shots of uh, the Prime Minister there who was interacting with students and he was at the Queensland University of uh, Technology to inspect a two-story high digital centerpiece uh, from the Science and Engineering Centre. A lot of the students are lining up there also to try and take some selfies with the Prime Minister. Remember, we have been talking about all the excitement out there and the focus of this visit is primarily business. So the Prime Minister also will be at uh, the G20 uh, summit and he will be interacting with the uh, world leaders. Sandeep Pukan joins us on the phone line. Sandeep, uh, just uh, quickly on this, this student interaction with the Prime Minister had, uh, we understand he was at the Queensland uh, University of Technology. That's right. Uh, this was a scheduled uh, reception that the Queensland University of Technology had organized for the Prime Minister. He, uh, he met with a group of students who were there. Uh, this is a university that primarily focuses on uh, technical education and technology. Uh, he went and uh, a few students went and took their selfie. Uh, there is a lot of excitement Colson, building up to the Indian Prime Minister's visit for the simple reason that uh, for 28 years we've not had an Indian Prime Minister visiting Australia. Uh, so I believe that the two countries really haven't uh, lived up to their potential in terms of uh, building either diplomatic relations or uh, economic relations, and that's why a special emphasis has been given uh, to ensure that uh, everything is done on a rather large scale. So uh, Prime Minister Modi, of course, will have several bilaterals. He's meeting the Japanese Prime Minister uh, this evening. He's meeting the uh, British Prime Minister uh, this evening. After that, uh, the formal G20 summit takes off tomorrow. He's going to address the Australian Parliament uh, on, um, on Tuesday. He's going to address two gatherings of the Indian diaspora. So there are uh, quite a few things happening. Uh, you know, uh, you know uh, quite a few things happening, as I said, to build up this visit uh, to a level which is, uh, which perhaps takes India-Australia relation to a new level. Because many uh, Indian Australians that I've spoken to say that right now the relations are below par. I mean, they really do not match. Uh, the kind of potential that the two countries have.